Hello everybody, I've got another book for you today. Please remember that if you have a book that you'd like me to read, you could always send me a message or make a comment on the Facebook page, whatever you like, and I'll do my best to read that one for you. I've got one today that's an Australian book and it's what I would call an Australian classic by one of Australia's best loved authors, and that is the wonderful Mem Fox. Do you know any other books? that Mem Fox has written. If you said Possum Magic, you would be absolutely correct. That's one of Australia's most popular children's books. Koala Lou is another one. And this one is called Wilfred Gordon MacDonald Partridge. I love this one. I used to read this one to my little boy, Henry, and Wilfred Gordon MacDonald Partridge has four names. So he's got two middle names and my big boy Henry has four names as well. Two middle names. Here he is. And my big boy Henry has red hair, just like Wilfred Gordon has. And here he is on his skateboard. I wonder who this lady is. Let's find out. This book is written by Mim Fox, as I said, and illustrated by Julie Beavis. There's no blurb on the back of this one. There's a back view of Wilfred Gordon. I wonder how else we can find out more about it. Oh, here's the blurb inside the front cover. Wilfred is a small boy who lives next door to an old people's home. He likes all the people who live there, but his favourite person of all is Miss Nancy Allison Delacourt Cooper because she has four names just as he does. So when Wilfred discovers that Miss Nancy has lost her memory, it's only natural that he should set off to help her find it. That's the back view of Miss Nancy. That reminds me of the back view of Wilfred Gordon there. One of the reasons I've chosen to read you this book today is because we've just had Anzac Day and there's a little bit of a reference to people who have fought in wars in this story. Wilfred Gordon MacDonald Partridge. Mem Fox has dedicated this book to Malcolm, I think that's her husband, and Julie Vivas has dedicated this book to Anna and Kate. I wonder if they're her daughters. This is a lovely back view of all the people sitting in their armchairs at the nursing home. There was once a small boy called Wilfred Gordon MacDonald Partridge, and what's more, he wasn't very old either. His house was next door to an old people's home, and he knew all the people who lived there. He liked Mrs Jordan, who played the organ. He listened to Mr Hosking, who told him scary stories. He played with Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. He ran errands for Miss Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. He admired Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. Sounds like Wilfred Gordon's very helpful to his neighbours. But his favourite person of all was Miss Nancy Allison Delacourt Cooper. Because she had four names just as he did, he called her Miss Nancy and he told her all his secrets. I like her too because one of her names is my name. Can you guess which one? One day Wilfred Gordon heard his mother and father talking about Miss Nancy. Poor old thing said his mother. Why is she a poor old thing? asked Wilfred Gordon. Because she's lost her memory, said his father. It isn't surprising, said his mother. After all, she is 96. What's a memory? asked Wilfred Gordon. He was always asking questions. It's something you remember, said his father. And here he is between his mum and dad, asking his questions. But Wilfred Gordon wanted to know more, so he called on Mrs. Jordan, who played the organ. What's a memory? he asked. 
Something warm, my child. Something warm. He called on Mr. Hosking, who told him scary stories. What's a memory? he asked. Something from long ago, me lad. Something from long ago. Here he is sitting in one of the chairs. Mr. Hosking. He called on Mr. Tippet, who was crazy about cricket. Oh, I can't get my book to sit up. What's a memory? he asked. Something that makes you cry, my boy. Something that makes you cry. He called on Miss Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. What's a memory? he asked. Something that makes you laugh, my darling. Something that makes you laugh. He called on Mr Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. What's a memory? he asked. Something as precious as gold, young man. Something as precious as gold. How small he looks next to Mr. Drysdale. So Wilfred Gordon went home again to look for memories for Miss Nancy because she'd lost her own. Him going through the fence. Must be a hole in the fence. That's how he gets through. He looked for the shoebox of shells he had found long ago last summer and he put them gently in a basket. He found the puppet on strings, which always made everyone laugh, and he put that in the basket too. He remembered with sadness the medal which his grandfather had given him, and he placed it gently next to the shells. See that in there? Next, he found his football, which to him was as precious as gold. And last of all, on his way to his fancies, he went into the hen house and he took a fresh, warm egg from under a hen. Then Wilfred Gordon called on Miss Nancy and he gave her each thing, one by one. He looks very happy. What a dear, strange child to bring me all of these wonderful things, thought Miss Nancy. But then she started to remember. She held the warm egg and told Wilfred Gordon about the tiny speckled blue eggs she had once found in a bird's nest in her aunt's garden. She put a shell to her ear and remembered going to the beach by tram long ago and how hot she'd felt in her button-up boots. She touched the medal and talked sadly of the big brother that she had lost who had gone to the war and never returned. She smiled at the puppet on strings and remembered the ones she had shown to her sister and how she'd laughed with a mouth full of porridge. She bounced the football to Wilfred Gordon and remembered the day she had met him and all of the secrets they had told. And the two of them smiled and smiled because Miss Nancy's memory had been found again by a small boy who wasn't very old either. This is the very last picture. Miss Nancy's chair and Wilfred Gordon MacDonald Partridge's basket. I hope you enjoyed that story. Wilfred Gordon MacDonald Partridge by Mem Fox and illustrated by Julie Beavis. Thanks for listening. Don't forget, if you've got a request for a story, let me know.